So what's happening, dude? So check it out. My bait freezer right here is basically empty. And the worst thing that I can do as a charter boat captain is to get up in the morning and not have any bait. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna fill that freezer right here up with bait. And I got a bunch of charters coming up, so I gotta get some bait. I gotta make sure that I am, uh, I'm taken care of because if not, it causes a lot of extra stress on me that I don't want. Got my Ziploc bags right here. I'm hoping to fill up every one of these Ziploc bags with bait. And when I get down here, I'm gonna go over like what type of bait I'm catching, why I'm catching this bait to freeze. And so it's gonna uh, make it easy on you when you wanna fill your freezer full of bait as well. Don't forget guys, we're having a party Friday night, uh, 510 Fort Pickens Road, Pensacola, Florida. Everybody can come out, man. All of you guys are invited. It's a beat shark fishing party. We're gonna have food and drinks and Yak Motley's gonna come out, hang out along with some other YouTubers. So it should be a good time, man. Anybody that is in the area and wants to come out, man, come hang out with us. We're gonna be out there from like 6 p.m. to probably 10 or midnight or something like that. David, uh, Captain David will probably be out there all night. So you're welcome to stay as long as you want. I'm already seeing some bait right here by the boat. And that's the perfect kind. It's little LYs and that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'm looking for little LYs. I'm looking for big menhaden, all kinds. I'm gonna fill the cooler up with all kinds of different bait. I gotta get, I literally just got down here to the boat and they're all over the place. Three, four, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. See if that works. Oh, I got them, boys. I got them. I got them. Got some, anyways. Look at here. <laughs> got some big pinfish. Get a bunch of guys. So that was kind of cool. I, I walked up to the boat and as soon as I got to the boat, there was a school of LY right there next to the boat. I threw one time, caught a bunch of those. I like to have LY just because they're great chum offshore and I can even chum those whole and uh, when I'm out there blackfin tuna fishing and different stuff like that. So it's a really solid bait, good snapper bait too, but I'm gonna run back here right now and see if I can get some big baits. I want some big pogies and other stuff like that. I'm gonna keep throwing the net and see what I can catch. We gotta fill that freezer. I'm just gonna have to throw. All right, that'll get them right there. That'll get them. Yep, we got them, we got more. So once again, we caught some bait, but it's still not really the kind I'm after. Those are LYs, which I use a lot of LY out there for uh, dead bait and for chum and stuff like that. So it's not bad, but it's not the big pogies, man. I've been seeing a bunch of big uh, pogies in the bayou, bunker, menhaden, whatever you want to call them. That's what I'm looking for. And they are nowhere to be found. If I find those, I'll get the big cast net, net out. I'm just throwing a little eight foot bait net right now to catch those LYs. There's my big bait, boys. There's my big bait. Come on. So now, I'm just kind of waiting on one to pop next to the boat. And if they pop next to the boat, it is game on. Game on, they're all over me. They're just not next to the boat right now. Come on. All right. All right, we're ready. We're ready. We just need one to pop beside us now. 
They're all around us in here. Come on. Come on. These are the big, oh, these are the big ones too, guys. These are the big ones. Oh, there he is, right there in front of us. Oh, come on. Please let that be them. Please let that be them. Oh, I got some. I got them. I got them. I got them. Come on. All right, dude, I got them. Uh, come here. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my gosh. So I'm super stoked about that. And the reason why is that took a while, man, to find these big ones. And finally, like, so when you're looking for these big menhaden, you are just looking for them to pop the surface. That's all I'm looking for. So if you see like a splash, a little pop on the surface here, a little pop on the surface there, there's usually thousands of them underneath them. They're schooling to, together and they're coming up and popping the surface. And so I was seeing like two or three little pops. Then all of a sudden one popped right by the boat, game over. So I'm gonna see if I can do this again and fill that cooler up. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we just need one to pop by the boat because if it pops by the boat, that's where the school's at. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, that still may work. I hit the side of my stupid boat. So we got him again right there. Dude, check out my hair. Look at that. Anyways, we got him again. Even though I hit the side of the boat with the cast, we still got them. So, man, we're getting them now. We're gonna have plenty of bait for this weekend. All right, let's start bagging these guys up. So I've got all my Menhaden and my LY bagged up now in those Ziploc bags. That'll be plenty enough to last me through the next four or five trips that I have to run. And I usually put them in like bags of 15 to 20. I'll take like one to two bags a trip depending on what I've got going on. That bug is heavy. Whew. All right, I just got back to the house and I'm gonna put these bad boys in the freezer. So it's not fully stocked by no means, but I have bait. And so I've got four charters coming up. I know now that I'm gonna have some bait because bait's been hard to come by, man. It's not easy. If you like that bait fishing video, guys, shoot me a thumbs up. I'll do some more. I know I've already done croaker and now pogies stock in my freezer. If you want me to do some more bait fishing videos, shoot me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't even unlock my door right now. I don't know what I'm thinking. You guys have a great week.